During my fever in the bayou, you were inside my mind. You know what Celeste means to me. Don't you mean meant to you? No. Do you have any idea how rare love is? In a thousand years, I have found it but twice. And when I have, I have honored it. I know what a promise means to you. But you made it 200 years ago. I live in the now. If I feel something, I act. If I want something, I take it. I won't choose the dead over the living, so why are you? I'm sorry. Don't make promises you can't keep. Welcome home. Good morning. You know, I do hope my siblings were hospitable toward you in my absence. In your absence, as you like to call it, which is a way too polite way of saying that your brother put a dagger in your heart, I have been attacked by French Quarter vampires. I've had to live in a house with a secret dungeon full of coffins. And I was nearly murdered by witches who are convinced that my baby is Lucifer. Fine. Your siblings are bravely protected. I know I have you to thank for that. I'm just happy to see that you're in one piece. So back to the murderous witches. I have some concerns. They're evil. And my life is still magically linked to Sophie Devereaux, which is not comforting. Yes, I think it's time we took care of it. I am all for it. As soon as they're on links, we get to leave this crap town. Who do we have to kill? Probably no one. All right, potentially everyone. Make you one last promise. I won't let my brother kill Agnes. I know you are just using me to save your people. Try it again. I'll kill you. 